guys, welcome back to Pokemon Sardonyx. Last episode, we finished up Emerald City by beating the poop out of Caden by res and rescuing a Litten, as well as battling Asento's dad. Now we're here in Iron City, and it seems like Team Morris has appeared here because of Zoltan's Latios. Now we're gonna explore this area first before anything, and I love how there's a stop sign right there. Oh wait, there's a car. That's why. All right. From this point on, I'm blind. I just know there's a bat. There's uh, gonna be a fight at the end of this, and the end of the version's coming up. Oh, hey there. Make yourself at home. Not what you expected, am I right? Am I? Truth be told, my family just moved here. I just got ownership of this house by being the previous owner. To be honest, I I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. But eh, I'm not gonna complain. It's my house now. Anyone's welcome. What a nice guy. This city's supposed to be full of rude people. There's supposed to be very few trains living in this city. Although I kind of doubt that. Apparently this city's full of rude people, so... Get ready for some savages. Never thought I'd ever find myself working for a nice family. It's a dream come true. I should prepare a special dinner for them. Yeah, just don't poison it. Right. Someone's in the bathroom. Hi, kid with a Wii. I don't understand these people and their love of the super generic game console deluxe. It's literally just a, a standard generic game console looks slightly better. <laughs> Man, whoever lived here last is a huge fan of Margo. I approve. Okay. Some kid like Sonic. Our new house is huge! Okay, it doesn't mean to run like Sonic and running over my Pokemon. My past couple of days have been a bit exhausting. I get my grandma broke a shoulder, my mom and my mom and I have been helping her deal with it. I feel bad for her, but at the same time, it's eating into my own time dealing with this. It's frustrating. That also doesn't help that I also have to try to help her get off the toilet. Ugh, I just can't right now. Oof. That's the that's the one he was mentioning. Ow, the pain. <laughs> believe the city is smaller than uh the others it's smaller than uh Citra Vale and uh, Emrys right all right check this house another hyper kid we have the worst chef ever yay she she's just, like bashed into me with a combuskin this family's gonna love what I'm cooking for dinner. Chicken Atak Darifolit? So, yeah, what? It's a recipe I made myself. Sounds yummy, doesn't it? How does Combuskin feel? Oh boy. That woman had better not be making Mossy Turkey Turner again. Ugh, that tasted horrible. Worst chef ever, apparently. What mess is that chef creating now? Oh boy. You know those, you know those items Link makes in uh, Breath of the Wild. If you make, if you make, if you mess up on recipes, that's probably what she makes. Uh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Dang, that chef's making him sick, people sick. And he's sick. What? A, that's a, yeah, that's definitely the chef. I think our chef might be trying to kill us. Oh boy. Let's just get out of this hell's kitchen. <laughs> this kitchen nightmare. You don't really see many people walking around town, huh? Because apparently this city's full of rude people. You there, what do you think you're doing waltzing into our house? Honestly, children these days are taught no manners. Although I suppose I'm not a man of, to talk about such things. My son's just as bad. He left arbitrarily to become a Pokemon trainer against our wishes. Suddenly, he comes back without a word to anyone but the maid. The maid. What kind of dad did I? What kind of kid did I realize? Did I raise to think that he could act like this? More importantly, what are you still doing here? You go away if I give you this. Thank you. Although the frustration's useless to me. Are you leave ready? One rambunctious child's enough for me to deal with. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Our first rude person. Hi, maid. 
busy. Okay. Bathroom. Person. I don't know what's worse, the fact that he had the audacity to return home after leaving the way he did, or that creature he brought home with him. Couldn't he have at least found something cute like a Glamio? So this is Rony's home! Alright! We really should look into locking the door. Just getting doors. Well, now you know where I come from. Not surprising, right? Between you and me, I really hate this place. The city's filled with nothing but talentless people. Everyone either bought their way into the city or inherited their home from their rich parents. My family's no exception. I was expected to just behave like a good little boy and follow in his footsteps. What footsteps? His legacy is effectively nothing but sitting around counting his money. This place in general is driving me nuts. This place in general drives me nuts. I really only came back here to grab a few things before I leave. If you have a million pokies spare or something, feel free to try to buy this place. Not that I want to live here anymore. Dang. And there's some hints on Rhodey's life. His family sucks. Or maybe he's just saying that they suck. Eh. Rhodey's living the rich life for this. Ever since my son watched some internet person play a game, he's been... He's wanted six pet Smeargle. It was some guy called Pika Spray or something like that? I understand, but as long as he's happy. Pika Spray? Is that a reference? The worst thing about being rich, the kidnapping possibility. My grandson is eccentric. It might fall some stranger just because he was told to. Oh, I should write the thoughts. Oof. My mommy says I have to take a bath after playing with my Smeargle. I can see why. Paint all over you. They just get paint everywhere. I can imagine seeing one one part of the building just full of paint. It's like a turf war from Splatoon took place. My brother needs to keep his dumb Smeargle out of my room. And like, uh, no paint here. Probably if it was like real life, 3D-ish, you would see the paint. It's Splatoon, guys. Instead of ink, we have paint everywhere. Oh, different colored Smeargle we have. Eh, eh. You don't get to judge me. What, with all the Smeargle around here? Okay. You smell like you've been dragged through the wilderness. Maybe you should clean yourself up. I mean... My train doesn't take a shower or anything. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was an entrance. Yeah, it doesn't look my train it doesn't even look like my train took a shower, so I guess. Hey, there's a person up there. I don't think I can get up there too. I, I don't think I can get up there. Let me check. I actually wanna see if I can get up there. Say hi. To the girl on the balcony. No! Nope, there are no stairs. How did she get up there? How did you get up there, miss? Did you just, like, climb up from outside your house? Huh? <laughs> oh. Alright, went there. Did not go here. The Alteris Rangers used to have our wildlife on- used to keep the, our wildlife under control. Some species need protection, others need careful population control. Then, well, their chief went nuts and they disbanded. Oof. Look at that Luxio. Whew. Moving boxes is hard work. That's a lot of boxes you have there. Check this out. What could be taking those two? We're going to be late at this rate. Is it just me or TV shows getting weirder? Oh man, I slept through good to know. Now how am I supposed to know what weird facts I missed? Okay. You're one of those people who like watching all those random wacky shows. I got to tell. Oh god, that cry. It's using the modern cries. Which is 
which scares which scares me because got to tell. Two rich people pampering up. Who's this? Screw television. I have books. I don't like reading books because school. You've been at this for hours now. Can we just go already? Of course, it's the girl put, putting makeup and getting her hair done and stuff in the bathroom. Uh huh. The nerve of that woman. She gets to appear on a game show. She decides to take the kids with her, but not me. As head of this household, I deserve to be on television. Wow. There is talk about television stuff here, and now this. Wow. Hey, maybe that's where the kids are going, with the gra with the lady. Alright. I heard that. I used to be a ranger. Then I lost my job. Now I'm security for some dude's house. Let's go inside! Let's the security guard let me in. It's a per ugly! Why must all the riffraff come here? Aren't there other places in the be fitting of them? Eh. Between you and me? Here this town has more than sparkling sidewalks for rich men. Vagabonds like you should go check out the west southwest part of town. Southwest? Is that where I can find myself in an awesome Pokemon? Like Altair and Sandile? I'm pretending to be a Pikachu so I can live here. Okay. That's something. Wonder whose who's child you whose child you are. You're wearing the same outfit as me. Go change now. You're wearing the same dress as me. You go change. Ladies, please. You both look terrible in that dress. Okay. Everyone else is busy. Now I can get myself some well-deserved me time. I mean, if I'm like a butler or, or something, I, yeah, I would love to have me time. No, sir, not getting off this sofa. Interesting. Get off the sofa! He's like Yusuf's bag, who stays on his who stays on his fancy chair all day. He even gave him even in the um, Courage Cowboy Dog one episode. He didn't even get off the chair. He he basically had he basically had a dying moment because of the chair. Oh my God, it's a parking lot. The thing is. How do they get out? These cars in the back. Cause there's no way to move. Bah, where's my car? Yeah, they look all the same. They all look the same. Bah, where's my brick? Brick. Bah, where are my keys? Jeez, you all suck. Eh. This town is way too clean. It's unnatural. Unnatural, you say. Hey. Well, this is where I live. Small house. Alright. And it's actually a small house. Know what would be great for tourism? A gym. I mean, yeah, gyms are nice. I regret shop. I regret stopping by this prissy little town. Heh. <laughs> Mary. And Kaiser. The city is nice, but I'd like to get moving. Too rich for my taste. Know what I mean? Be careful, okay? Yeah. Soul, stay here. Protect Mary. What's what? What's what the name of this region? Wh what? Did someone misspell Altaria? Altaria. <laughs> Actually, I wonder how this name, how the name of this region came to be. This is a wonderful, popular tourist town. We don't need riffraff mucking the place up. That was a hint, by the way. All you rich, snooty people, bury. Okay, I'm kidding. These children of mine should learn that money does not grow on trees. They do grow in some va in these vases, but that's besides the point. You rich, snooty. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Those commoners and engineered game consoles, they're nothing compared to our super generic game console deluxes. Their graphics and performance at a price that only those who live in ironness could possibly afford. Snooty. Mommy, uh, someone paint the corner of the black of the map black. Can we throw it away and buy a new one? Jeez! Snooty! 
Honestly, all of you are snooty. And I'm like watching Sora online, uh, three, Alization Arc. Jeez, I freaking hate nobles. I freaking hate the nobility. My Mayana is the best Mayana. I just need a special stone now. Special stone? Mega Evolution? <laughs> it'll be like, uh, no, it'll be, um, Aurora's Mayana all over again. Why do anything yourself when you have money to pay other people to work, to do the work for you? So maids, that kid really does not understand how to, how easy his problem is to solve. Though I don't like him enough to fix it for him. But eh, what? Why is it failing to fail to load data? Why is this file having a problem as a shortcut? I wish I pay someone to make my game for me, boy. <laughs> What if they don't? What if they don't make the game like you want it to be? Excuse me. What does four minus negative one equal? Wait. Excuse me. But how does four minus negative one equal five? It makes no sense whatsoever. To think you're supposed to be teaching me about math. Pathetic. Man, rich people are stupid. No, I'm kidding. These rich people are stupid. I don't. Real rich people are pro are not like these people. I'm supposed to be this kid's tutor, but she has a terrible attitude. At least the money's worth it. Have to, yeah, but you have to deal with the, some rich, snooty brat. Honestly, rich people. I do hope. Hopefully, they're not actually snooty like the like how uh, fantasy tr shows them. Please. Hi, biker. I'm gonna just wait for him. Don't run me over. Ah, you hit me. These yahoos told me to stop driving my motorcycle around the city. Yeah, right. I'm not stopping for them. I'm not stopping for you. Oh, he wants the battle! <laughs> yeah, I know that bikers hate it when people tell them to stop biking in their area. Because rich people will be like, hey, get off, get off, it's too, you're too loud and stuff. But the bikers will be like, no, screw you. By the way, I changed my team, by the way, because of an upcoming fight and I grinded up my, my gang. I forgot to tell you that. So everyone's level 30. We got Lightning here, who has Discharge. Vui is the same. Slick, the same. I have Death Cap with me to to lure an annoying opponent to sleep. Spectre evolved and learned Dragon Claw. And I have Black Widow, who is the same. That's all for the recap. Oh shoot, I forgot to switch out. Discharge! I'm still not stopping for you. Okay. Look at that. Look at that eyesore of a trailer. You rich snooty. Okay. Is this a trainer? This is one of the few cities with cars. I prefer my bike though. Few city with cars. You know what's worse than intruders like you? This stupid mimic you. I told my parents I wanted a Pikachu, but they gave me this creepy thing instead. Hey, do you me a favor and trade me a Pikachu for this thing? No. Ugh, you're so useless! Okay. So, uh... You can get a Mimikyu that's admin nature. And it's nicknamed Freak. Which is mean, but it's Mimikyu. It's awesome. And, uh, it, it can help you with a certain fight. But, uh, I'm not using because I'm doing all Terran, but one. Because that's what I want to do. I'm on my I'm on my work break, enjoying the stroll through town. I work for a very wealthy family, you see. Hopefully they're not snooty brats! Okay. I'm I'm worried this park will get smaller and smaller with this, all this construction, taking out people with nature, with themselves taking down nature. Oh, these darn millennials and their 800 Pokemon. Back in my day, we had 151 poorly designed ones and we liked it. Heh, <laughs> I like it because we have Pokemon Let's Go now, with 153 Pokemon, I believe. 53 is it? I think it is. Yes, 53 because Melton Mel Metal. I wish they hurried construction up there. What's over here? You know, I don't understand why there's so many negative comments towards everyone here. Do people not like? Do people just not like money? No, it's because you're all snooty fool. You're all snooty pieces of poop. That's me censoring. No one wants to deal with snooty rich people who are snobs. Yeah, investigate. Just like talk to everyone. An espion. It's evil day! How dare you! Huh, 
Who actually takes the effort to catch a Pokemon when it's easy to buy one with money? You piece of... Okay. I don't know why. All these rich people are just annoying the heck out of me. So snooty and annoying. Huh. That cave should be blocked off. And the land flat and used for luxury buildings. I don't know why they keep it there. You don't care about nature? Screw you. Hey, mind your own business. Not my fault these people left their door unlocked. Tell you what, I'll give you this if you tell no one I was even here. So we have a we have a guy breaking to a rich person's ho home. Yeah, rob them because these rich people deserve it. Deserve to get broken. These are, these rich people deserve to get robbed. Snooty people. You snooty people. Okay. Ew, this place is so overgrown. Just built a hotel here. Jeez. How about I put a? How about I just drop a hotel on top of you? That trailer down that path. She's brutal. Poor P Pidgeotto didn't stand a chance. What? Oh no, that's the biking thing. This is the one guy chilling in the trailer. Oh, I can go. Can I go down there? Nope. Did I fully explore here? Think I did. Yes, I did. Still like how there's that Luxie, those, there's that Luxie up north. Pretty nice. All right, let's go see what this lady's talking about. Let's just talk to her. Look, a shell. Cool. What's the point of these stalls that manned? Maybe they will later. Please don't tell me you're talking about some expansion again. You gotta keep some nature. It's illegal to swim in the ocean surrounding all terrace. That's why everyone takes boats. I can see why it's dangerous. Beep! Help! I'm going to fall! Let me help you! I can't help him. Okay. I'm sorry. Safari Island. Lapis Lazuli City. A vending machine. Let me get some lemonade. Alright. And I don't think I can enter these boats. Yep. Go here. Hi, little kid. I love playing in the waves. Relaxing my Pikachu is totally electrifying. I thought I was a kid dressed as the Pikachu for a second. I was gonna say. <laughs> Who's this? I help passengers board the boats. I'm on my break down though. Hey, that scientist is strange. I saw him come off a boat come off of a boat from Alola. Wait, 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 wait. Aether Foundation? Hmm. <laughs> come back later. It's Aether Foundation! Why is the Aether Foundation here? Oh, why? Terribly vicious Pokemon live in the seas around this region. They've been known to attack boats. Oh boy. I wonder where that black boat goes. Looks suspicious. Private boat, get lost. Rude. So rude. I think I see something past the cliff. Is that another town? Looks like it, right? Let's see. No, don't get, don't have another, another view of it. Let's talk to this guy. Probably gonna counter something. Yep. Wingle. It's Roselia. Damn it! Could have sworn I was gonna find something over here. This thing must, have, must this thing must be broken. He has an item finder. Gah! Jeez, kid, don't sneak up on me like that. Well, I guess there's no harm done. Hey, I have an idea. Take this off my hands, will ya? It's an item finder! But I don't feel like using it. I prefer having my Eevee wag its tail when I'm near an item. <laughs> it's supposed to lead you to hidden items, but I haven't gotten anything from it. I don't know, maybe you'll have better luck with, with it than me. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to use it. <laughs> Oh, uh, got a Gothita. Marduk, what are you doing down? What are you doing here? Guess your instincts told you to help us. Well, hopefully your instincts to run kick kick in at the right time. We don't need you losing another Pokemon, especially since I have a team of six. All right, if Marduk's going to help, we should get we should get him caught up. 
Asuncho caught, caught up with me after he and Looker split up. W while looking around the city, we found this path here. There appears to be a cave entrance. However, there also seems to be a trainer blocking on the way. Watching for a bit, it appears we need to beat her in order to enter. But they appear to be pretty tough. We saw someone lose brutally to her. That just goes to show how strong trainers like them are. Asento and I can take her no problem, but the only way she'll let you pass is for you to beat her too. You think you can do that, Marduk? Yeah, I have death cap. I'll be a I'll be cheap. I can be I can be cheap. I can be extremely cheap against her. I'm going to play like a jackass. Let me just see if there's any. Uh! Nope, nothing here. Let me out. Stop! We got a doggy. Man, this are gonna read so high, it's nuts. All right. Got death cap ready for this. Oh shoot! You think you have what it takes to go through? Then prove it. Fight me. Um, no. Let me save. You know what? Come back when you're not a coward. Let me just—I just want to save my game, please. Okay. We're using death cap. You only get through if your Pokemon survives. Didn't expect it to be a circuit trainer. Larvesta. Oh fudge! I'm star. I'm using a. Uh, this is bad. Okay, good. It missed. Now let me hit it with that hex. Oh, OTK. Death caps cheapness for the win. Not bad. I got credits? Nice. You're a pretty tough, kid. You beat me, so I guess I gotta let you pass. If you're gonna go through, you also need- you're, you're also gonna need this. ROCK SMASH! Looks like all three of you managed to beat me. Guess I'll just get out of your way. Be warned though, you only got a taste of what lies ahead. Is there a bunch of circuit trains there? Well, that's foreboding. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah, but that's we're ending today's episode off because I'm 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 like my voice is dying out and stuff. <laughs> All right. So next time, Pokemon Sardonyx, we're gonna continue with the story, and I have no idea if we're gonna reach the end of the of the of the episode. But who knows? I have Death Cap with me, though. I'm ready for anything. All right. See you guys then. Bye. So this city is basically where the 1% live. Of course, if you get sick of it, there's boats that'll take you to other places.